Leave it at the McDonald's to piss me off. What the fuck is this? And they didn't even want this. They wanted me some Popeyes, but they were stripping, so. I was like, I'll just take my services and my money somewhere else. Man, y'all listen. Everybody ain't, 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 ain't the best at parenting. Everybody, motherhood ain't for everybody. Motherhood ain't for the weak. Motherhood ain't for everybody. And baby, whether they <laughs> one month, one years old, 11 years old, 21 years old, 31 years old, 71 years old, for that matter, it's gonna be challenging. That baby, them kids, gonna get your motherfucking nerves. They gonna stress you out. Like, Y'all acting like Tempest is the first person to say that she don't want to be a mom no more. I get it like, okay, don't say that. Oh, don't say that. I don't feel like that. But at the same time, we can't tell nobody how they should and should not feel. When it comes to being a mom, really, honestly, she messed up when she decided to keep the baby for Bruce when she didn't want the baby in the first place. But she did. That's cool. Then she already felt like he done chopped her up. Then he gets your body done. Then you turn out pregnant. Then he starts showing you he don't like it for real. But not once did she say, do I all of this? He's a bad dad. He's a bad parent. He do this shit better than her. Probably as he should. Since he really wanted to be a father. He was, a, he was already a dad. But you get what I'm saying. He really wanted to be a father. He really wanted a baby. So it's like, okay, of course. He gonna do what he need to do, and you gonna probably lack, and you maybe not lack. But motherhood ain't for everybody, man. And that shit is not easy. Y'all just don't like that girl venting and expressing herself through social media. I'm being honest. Because a lot of y'all won't be honest. Or a lot of y'all will tell y'all kids how y'all really feel about them. Let's keep it a book. Ain't nobody don't motherfucking know about it. That's all that is. That's it. That's all. Because mine's a letter. And what, what I'm going through now. I be like, girl, I see why motherfuckers be snapping. I see why these mamas out here don't want to be no damn mama no more. I see why these damn parents be out here snapping and shit. The kid. But at the same time, it ain't always the kid, man. It could be a lot going on with the mom. It could be something wrong with the mom. It's a lot going on with me. It's something wrong with me. But that don't mean I'm going to give up my child. Or that don't mean, or that don't, that don't, that don't mean like, I don't want to be a mom no more. You get what I'm saying? Like, she been saying she didn't want to be that. So why y'all making it so fucking hard? I'm on my sixth child. She ain't have none of us. She had me. I'm going to say she had me. Come on, to make sure I went back to her when she got, when she got out of prison or when she got out of jail and out of jail. She made sure I went back to my mama so I can let my mama and my mom's side of the family. My sister didn't do that. But if it wasn't for that, my mom wouldn't have none of her kids. And I'm not going to say, oh, she didn't want her kid. I'm not going to say she didn't want to be your parent. But at the same time, you chose the streets. You chose that life over your kids. So you didn't want to. My baby daddy ain't in his, in his daughter's life. As far as I know, he ain't done his kid's life. They ain't on the kid. That's on him. And they ain't going to say, oh, you didn't want to be a parent. You didn't want to be a father. No. You thought you was going to your, have your cake and eat it too. And then some with me like you've been doing with the rest of them. Nobody. So you told to skip out. But it didn't make me go down. I don't want to be no mama. I don't want to go through this pregnancy by myself. I don't want to raise this kid by myself. Granted, no, I didn't want to go through all those things by myself. But I never opened up my mouth and said, I don't want to do this by myself. Like, to myself or to him or to anybody in the world. Not even my mama for that matter. But at the end of the day, who I had a child with, I knew what I, I knew what I was doing. I knew I wanted a kid. I knew I would take care of my child. This is what I always wanted, to have a kid. To have a daughter at that. So no matter what, not thinking if life happens or life be life or things bad happen, go wrong. I wasn't thinking about that. I just knew I was going to be a mom. I wanted to be a mom. That's it. That's all. Everybody's not cut out to be a parent. And because she pushed that baby out don't mean she 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 need to stay and stick around. This and that. That's up to her. She had to have that feeling. She had to have that love. Everybody don't have that love. Everybody don't have that passion to be a mom. That's why they have a lot of a lot of uh, women giving up their child at birth. Y'all like this? Y'all like this shit is fucking new to y'all. That was my little calling the school again. They had a cold red because she called me first, but it wasn't about that.
I mean, the school and called twice, but I got the email said it was good. Y'all got people on how you feeling every day. Like, let that girl vent, let that girl express how she really feel. And all that, oh, her daughter gonna grow up. Thinking her mama didn't want her, didn't love her. Ain't it the truth? I'm sorry, not sorry. Like, she had to have a discussion that talk with her kid. Now, y'all, well, of course, social media, so y'all gonna have your own opinion about everything. Just like this video. So, girl, do know. If you decide to stop the day tomorrow, who her child can go to and not go to hell. Mine can't go no motherfucking well. And I'm starting, I be getting like, damn. I wish I had somebody. Something. Child pooping. <coughs> that food went all that. But I was hungry as fuck. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> but seriously, though. But I wouldn't be coming back to no house. To, to a nigga that I don't want no more. I don't give a damn how good he is to his kid. I'm just saying, everybody is different. Everybody ain't the same. Everybody do things differently. Baby, <coughs> you got to go. You got a whole van that you can sleep in. Baby, you can get up, <laughs> clean your ass, clean this van, and go clean some cars. Ain't that what y'all say he do? Oh, okay, that part. I want something else to eat. Shit, I need to cook.